I was about to give you that Michael Buffer. Big Shane Bachelor! Coming up with this thing. Alright. Sorry, guys. Oh, my bad. The cricket. Okay. Hey, I heard you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I, I realized these chairs behind me did not look fat boy accessible at all. I don't, I don't feel like falling through the stage and shit like that. So. But I want to apologize to Mr. Knowles there for sneezing on him and making him fatter. <laughs> really am sorry about that. I got everything I can spread. I did not know fatness was one of them. Shit. Poor bastard. You got a lot to look forward to, except your cock. You'll never see it again. <laughs> it moved off. It, it's hid down there by some asshole. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Y'all look nice. Y'all like a good, quiet, uh, out and about, drinking, having a good time kind of people. What you drinking tonight? Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke. Yeah, I know some guy named Jack that used to sell me coke, but that's about as far as I know. As, as you can tell, I don't do hard drugs. That's, as you can tell, I'm, I'm what they used to say in the 50s, healthy. That's a fucking lie. But yeah, man, they actually raided me, raided my house for selling meth. No shit. If I was on meth, I started yesterday. I have not got none of the good parts. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't actually, I, I may have sold meth a couple times, but yeah, hey, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. My meth was so good that their people's kids even lost weight. That's... <laughs> Think about that one. That one's mean and deep and dark right there, I tell you what. <laughs> no, but what I sold was this stuff called Believe 2, which is outlawed like by uh, whatever it's fucking called, where you can't sell it nowhere or whatever. And I, I sold some of these little pills to some old kid, and his, he went home to his mama and geeking and shit, and, where'd you get it? And he didn't say it was a pill. <laughs> then the next thing you know, my door was being kicked down. I was like, y'all, y'all, y'all's can really confuse right now, ain't you? <laughs> Shit. Something. <bitch. laughs> I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me, man. I think my mama hit me a lot as a kid. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I can't remember. That's what, you know, punch drunk. I think that's what that's called, maybe. <laughs> no, nah, but I, I was raised by a single mother. Anybody here a single mom had to do that kind of shit? That's fucking awful and sucks ass, and I'm sorry you're having to go through it. But my mama thought she had to be the dad and the mom. So I come home with a damn bad report card, and I show mama, and she looks down at me real bad, and she wishes, you can't just wait till your daddy gets home. What? My daddy ain't gonna come home for at least four and a half years. What the fuck? <laughs> what they said. About 10 minutes later, comes back in, just absolutely beats the shit out of me. And just leaves the room. And then five minutes later, walks back in and saying, I'm sorry, honey, he, he didn't mean it. You know, it hurts him worse than it does you. And I've never figured that saying out, man. Because I had two step, well, there wasn't step kids. I, I, I kind of adopted two kids from crack kids because I couldn't take care of them no more. So, uh... Yeah, I don't like kids. I've, I've come to figure that out. <laughs> you know, it, yeah, it, I really don't. But I would, <laughs> there, it, it was bad, man. It really was bad. I, the little boy was kind of off a little bit. Not really off enough to really, you know, make a wish or anything like that. <laughs> but I did think about putting some lead paint in his cereal because I really want to meet John Cena. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, re I really do. I, I really do. You know, and, and the little girl, the little girl was cute. She's a cute little girl. But I, if, if I had them, I already done planned to, her future for her already. I put on the, the song Fancy by Reba McIntyre every day so she could know that her future can work out too. Because all you have to be is nice to the gentleman, Fancy, and they'll be nice to you. 
that's the most Epstein song they ever fucking won. And that song never goes that good in real life. You know you're crying about sucking a dick behind the Denny's dumpster. You know you've made mistakes. That man right there knows all about that. They outlawed him from Denny's. Can't go to Waffle House. He's the fucking killer of dumpsters. He's fucking with y'all, man. Ma'am, your breast really keep drawing my eye in. I'm sorry. I, I'm a married man and all that, but I see titties. I can't help but look at them. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll do mine. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. That's how I get rid of hormones. <laughs> Staring at my own titty. What am I talking about? Diabetes got rid of my heart on. Who the fuck y'all talking about? That's a deep, dark joke, too. It's a dark one! Oh, fuck. I know there's something wrong. I, I drove a truck for several years. Several years, right? And truck drivers all talk about all these titties they've seen. You know what I'm saying? I've seen titties everywhere. I've seen titties. I've never seen, i only seen like two sets of titties the entire time I drove a truck. But I saw a lot of penises. Dudes love showing their cocks off. I don't know. I wish I could, but... <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. I know you're watching me from up there and you're so disappointed. Nah, but, but yeah, I was in Arkansas, somewhere between Little Rock and Memphis there. About four in the morning, I see this old man Lincoln car, right? And he flips the lights on, and you, every truck driver looks down. They can't help it, it's just in your psyche. And this old man looks up at me in my eyes, and he's just beating it out down, son. And I did the proper thing. What would you think the proper thing would be to do? I watched that man in his eyes until he finished. <laughs> That's the only thing you could do at that point. I made that grandpa happy as a mother. He, he ain't been that happy. Just ever so graceful staring at me in my eyes as I'm hitting a rumble strip on both sides. Of the <laughs> but you know the nicest set of titties, this is what's fucked up. The nicest set of titties I've ever seen driving a truck was stuck to the back glass of a school bus. <laughs> That made it so awkward later on that night because every stroke down, I'd have to say to myself, she was 18, she was 18. <laughs> they were nice, man. I felt real, I was like, uh, no. So fucked up. <laughs> Guy bought a, a lot lizard in Amarillo, Texas one time. Anybody here know what a lot lizard is? Hell yeah. I knew that man would. <laughs> It's a prostitute. She gets she gets on the old radio, you know, any drivers need any company, twenty dollars, I'll do any blah 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 blah. She jumps up in the old truck. I said, I ain't took a shower today. I didn't tell her nothing about the day before that and the day before that. <laughs> I thought she was gagging on my huge cock, but I don't think that's what it was. I, I really don't. I, I don't, because I started gagging too, so I, so I knew it wasn't her, <laughs> you know what I mean? She wasn't trying to impress me or nothing, you know? <laughs> but all I figured out, because she did the zip zam, wiggity wham wham, and I, I almost blew the back of her head off. And then uh, I come to realize something. I've worked hard for money my entire life, but I have never needed $20 as bad as that bitch needed $20. <laughs> Never had? No, no. Thinking about, I'm thinking about starting me an OnlyFans. This time my OnlyFans a while ago. Not only that, I could invent the first curved selfie, too. So when I take a picture of my butthole, <laughs> get right on in there, you know what I'm saying? I used to have quite the gay following back in the day, and this, I had this guy that Wanted me to sit on him. He was going to pay me 10 grand to sit on him. Do you know what the one thing that stopped it from happening was? I told him he had to tape his dick down. That's the only proper I would have. <laughs> you ain't jabbing me, man. It ain't happening, you know. And I got rolls everywhere so you can just get in and get in it and get in it. And I don't want all that. <laughs> it's 
kind of like, I always thought if I ever went to prison. I, 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 you know, because I'm, I'm a big dude. I can have my own, but when they want it, they want it. You know, they'll take it if they want it. And that man knows all about that, sir. <laughs> they start giggling, oh, they sure will. <laughs> Cell block number two, represent. <laughs> yeah. I don't figure what I'm doing. I'm going to find me a short dick man, so he just plays in the mud a little bit and never actually gets to the hole. <laughs> That's one good thing about having a big old ass. And I can shit a little bit and nobody knows it. All y'all skinny ass motherfuckers gonna run down your leg. I can hold a half a turd half a day. That's so gross. This woman right here is like, I could have stayed home and, and watched any fucking thing. I could have watched grass grow on YouTube. I appreciate everybody coming out tonight, man. I, I enjoy doing a little special guest appearance. I love making people laugh. I'm a comedian, Big Shane, and it's been really nice hanging out with y'all. Y'all get something from the staff, you know, other than herpes. <laughs> I know y'all don't have it. It's, it's, it's syphilis. It's different. But yeah, get y'all something to drink and all that. And, uh, Shane, come get the damn mic.